Hello everyone, I am Nathan and today I am going to speak about data pre-processing. Data pre-processing is a step which we need to do to the data which we are going to perform the data mining process. Here in this data pre-processing step we are going to read data, analyze input, handling the missing values which include Record, removing the records which are having null value, replace numeric attributes by mean value, removal of normal attributes that have a having null value, binning, sampling, normalization, and correlation determination. The tool which we are going, I am going to use here is Rapid Miner. Rapid Miner is a saw open source platform which is used for data mining purpose. So I am going to start my experiment now. This is rapid miner. Here the we can add data by first for adding data we need to create a repository. Since I have created the repository, I will just show the demo about how creating the repository. Just do the create repository, new repository, and give your name for that, for example, new name. And then just give finish. That will create a new repository. Since I am having some repositories here, so I will use the repository. I am just using data cleaning. Inside this repository, we need to insert two subfolders. One is data and one is for process. Data will contain the data which we near which we are going to process, and process will do, will have the entire process we are going to do. So we are going to do from the first. I'm just doing this. So I'm going to first insert the data. This is the data we are having in here. Attribute two is having some null values. Before that I will show how to insert this data. One minute. Adding the data in this data folder, I will add data and this is the data I am going to process. See? So in my computer. This is the data.txt. The selector file will be imported as CSV. Rapid Miner will automatically convert this data into CSV file. And next, just untick the header row. Then we need to format the columns. Here, attribute 2 is being, uh, attribute 1 is integer. And attribute 2 is given as polynomial, but the values are integer and there are missing values. So we just change type to integer. Now errors are there. Just we will do replace error with something from this missing values. And we will do another. Attribute 19. This is also having this is how, and we'll give next. And we'll give the location and give we'll give finish. I'm already having this data, so I just override it. This is the data I'm having. Now we'll just start the data process. First, I need to drag and drop this here. Retire data. Now 
I need to do to replace missing values. Before replace missing values, I need to filter examples. So I'm going to filter it. This filter, I need to give an advanced parameters. No missing attributes. So it will give and another. This remove unused values and we will give connection to this. And we will see what happens. We will see into all. See, attribute to all the missing values get eliminated. But this is not a practical example because this missing uh, removing the missing attributes will give uh, will remove the rows which may be important. So this is not a practical example. So we are going to change. We are going to change this filtering and remove one as well. And we are going to replace the missing values. Replace missing values. And give connection to here. And this replace missing values we will give. There are many options. All single subset regular expression. Since we are having multiple value, multiple attributes with missing uh, uh, values we give all. And default there are minimum, maximum, average. Zero and value. Minimum will give the minimum value in that attribute. Maximum will give the maximum. Average will take the uh, total average of that attribute. And zero will give zero. And value will give whatever value we want. See, replenishment value. So instead of that, we are giving average. And result is given here. And see what happens. See in attribute 2, so many 122 are here, 122 is the average. So replacement of missing values is over. Now let's see what's the next task. So next is binning. Discretize by binning. We will just give. And we will into drop into this connection, and in this thing, we'll just give the we we'll just give a single attribute for that, and uh, we we'll check which attribute we need to have that. We give attribute 17 for binning. We can give only numerical values for binning and we will give 4. Now, range type will be short, interval, and long. Short will give this range 2 only. We cannot get the limits. So if we give interval means only limits will be given. We cannot say that which range it is. So we give now. See, range to range one is from minus infinity to 127.250. Range two is from 127.250 to 192.500.
range 3 is from 193.500 to 259.750. And uh, we'll check range 4. And range 4 is from 259 to infinity. So this thing is also over. Now we will just sample it. We will just sample it into a size of 100. See, the size has reduced to 100. Now we will do the normalization. In this normalization, in advanced store option, we will do we will give a single attribute for this normalization and we will check which attribute to do. We will give attribute 14 for normalization. Yes, I think it's better. Give range transformation. We need to give range transformation for that, and uh, then we'll give attribute 14. Minimum will be 0 0.0 and maximum will be 1.0. Let's see, see what's happening. See, it will be the attribute 14 will be normalized from values of from 0 to 1. This is the value we, are, we, are, we have got. Now we will do the correlation determination by using correlation matrix. And we will, uh, this is the exact value, and we will do the matrix. Now we will check. See, we can see that a diagonal 1 has been formed, and uh, this is the correlation matrix we need to get. Negative correlations will be marked with negative values. See, minus 0 0.230, and positive correlations will be marked with positive values c 0.072 thus the first first step of data or data preprocessing is over thank you for watching this video it's me nitin signing off